What's up guys and welcome to the channel. It's Yuwana here, founder and CEO of Supwell. I'm on vacation right now in Cape Cod, so you know I had to drop a video giving you the best shoes for running on the sand and at the beach like I've been doing for the past week. Let's get into it. The best beach running shoes are going to be lightweight, have a stable solid platform, and have a decent amount of outsole grip and traction for running over any wet rocks or wet slick patches of seaweed that you might encounter on those low tide days. So to put this list together, I looked at what are those great daily trainers out there that also have good grip, that aren't overly rockered, and aren't using a super soft foam because we know we're going to want a firmer platform for rolling through that soft loose pack sand. All right, so first up, we got the Nike Pegasus. This is a classic daily trainer. It's using React foam, which is a bit firmer to the touch, but it is mildly responsive. Plus it's paired with a really solid covering of rubber outsole. So this shoe is gonna feel really planted when you're running through the sand, and it does have a lot of grip on the bottom. So if you wanna go through any wet rocks or wet sand, it's gonna provide great traction. The other benefit is that this is a super comfortable shoe and it's versatile. So if you're taking one shoe to the beach for vacation, you're not gonna feel bad wearing the peg to the coffee shop or wearing it on the plane It's just a really sharp good-looking shoe. That's versatile for a bunch of different activities Next up we got the Saucony Ride 16. This is another classic feeling daily trainer It's got Saucony's power run foam in there, which is a firmer EVA based compound So great on running through sand or anything that's softer and looser because your ankle is not going to be rolling around on a soft squishy foam like a Piva based and this doesn't have as much outsole rubber covering as the Pegasus But if you're not planning to do any beach path or trail type runs, this should be fine. The one knock is a it doesn't look as great off the beach and off running as the peg does, but if you want a classic daily trainer that's gonna be great for all types of running, go for the ride. And right, next up we got the Audi Zero SL. This is one of the most underrated daily trainers on the market today. It's gonna to be great for beach running because it has a firmer feel with that Light Strike EVA foam. It does have a little puck of Light Strike Pro, which is a super critical TPE up in the forefoot, but you're not gonna get a whole lot of change in the ride dynamics from that. This shoe is on sale a lot for around $60. It MSRP is $120, but Adidas just slashes the price on it. So if you want an affordable shoe for running to the beach or just gonna pick up a sneaker for beating the heck out of it on your next family vacation, go for the Audi Zero SL. You can wear it to the beach, you can take it to the pizza shop, your daughter can pour a Coca-Cola on it. Things will be fine because you paid 60 bucks for it. All right, now on the opposite end of the spectrum, we got one of my favorite casual shoes and favorite upmarket daily trainers, the Tracksmith Elliott Runner. This thing just looks sweet. It looks like it's made for running on the beach. It has a dual foam P-Bax midsole. That top layer is a sock liner, which is a triple width sock liner made with super critical p -bucks. It's gonna give you a soft feel on step in, and the midsole is gonna be a bit firmer with standard p -bucks. Overall, this thing is great for running on the beach and great for traveling because it has a really generous covering of this rubber outsole so you're not going to be slipping around on absolutely anything it does come in at 200 bucks but if you're looking for that running shoe that's gonna look great on the beach gonna look great when you're hitting the town for drinks with your wife go ahead and pick up that tracksmith elliott runner if you're looking to go run on natural beaches, some more trail oriented type of beach paths, the Norda 001 is a great example of that hybrid road trail shoe that really excels in those scenarios. The Norda 001 is personally my favorite road trail shoe because it has this Vibram midsole that it takes maybe 40 or 50 miles to break in but once it's broken in, it has a really soft, supportive and cushioned, comfortable feel. I used my Norda 001s for a 50 mile trail racing weekend earlier this year and it absolutely crushed it. I use them for every single race. It also has that Vibram outsole and I had no issues with slipping or sliding on anything. That being said, you can find similar shoes like this in the Nike Peg Trail Gore-Tex or the Saucony 16 Ride Trail version. There's a bunch of these road trail shoes, but if you want the best of the best, go for the Norda and it's gonna be great for running on the beach. Next up, we got the Nike Pegasus 4 Trail Gore-Tex, which I mentioned in the Norda section. 
And what's gonna be different about this from the Norda and some of the other trail shoes that are good for running on the beach is that Gore-Tex is a waterproof material. So if you're gonna be running down near the surf and the waves and you don't want your feet to get soaked, you can go for a waterproof trail running shoe like the Peg4 Gore-Tex. This is also another super versatile shoe. It's great for traveling. It looks pretty sweet on foot and for casual wear. And if you're gonna be hiking a lot throughout the weekend or just throughout the year, the Peg4 Trail Gore-Tex can work for that as well. All right, finally, we got the Saucony Peregrine 13 ST. It's not waterproof, but it does have a nice booty-like upper that functions as kind of a gaiter to keep out that mud from going into your ankles and socks. So if you want a nice protective shoe for running on more technical beach paths and terrain, go for that Peregrine 13 ST. All right guys, there we have it. Those are the best shoes for running on the beach. Some firmer options, some waterproof options, some trail options. Let me know in the comments if you have other questions or suggestions. Thank you for liking and subscribing. I'll make sure to keep you up to date on the latest and greatest in the world of performance running.